Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some maternity photo outfit ideas. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. We actually just did our maternity photos over the weekend and I ended up buying so many different dress options because I wasn't sure the style that I would want, what would look good all of that. So I'm going to try on all of the ones, including ones that just didn't work for me because I do think that they could work for somebody else. So there are all different price points, a bunch of different retailers. Every single one will be linked down below in the bottom bar in case you're interested in it. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. There's just so many different ways that you can go and a lot of the dresses are actually not maternity dresses. So you'd be able to wear them if you are not pregnant anymore or if you're just not pregnant at all. Um, but I was hoping that I'd be able to get away with one that was not a maternity dress so that I could end up wearing it even post this stage of my life because obviously it's a pretty short stage that you're in through maternity and or through pregnancy rather. Um, and these dresses will also work for a shower or just, I mean, a wedding and anything that you have going on during a pregnancy. I just think that they would be perfect. So yeah, let's get into all of the dresses that I got. One thing I did want to mention before I got into the outfits is that I did launch a couple of mama pieces on SB. So I will link those below and put photos right here. We have a mama necklace, which is so cute. It'd be perfect for a mother's day gift. If you're looking for one or if you are a mama to be, or you know a mama to be, this would be a great gift. And then we also have the mama Emma bracelet and it is a gold filled beaded bracelet. It's great quality. It doesn't tarnish. It is just so cute so again it would make a great gift or if you are a mama to be I've been wearing mine because I just now that title suits me so I've been wearing that bracelet so um, definitely check those out down below this is the first dress option this one I actually wore last weekend we did like a mini maternity photo shoot so I will insert a couple of photos from that shoot so you can kind of see what it looks like but this dress is really really long I'm 5'7 so it does have a bit of a train on it and I am wearing heels so keep that in mind this is not a dress that you're going to be like easily walking in all night um, but the fabric is really nice um, it is strapless so keep that in mind. I'm very large chested to begin with and right now I'm even more large chested. So it does cover me. I'm wearing a medium in it and you can see there's plenty of room for the bump in here. This dress comes in a few different colors. It's lined. The sleeves aren't lined but all of the body is lined. So you can see it's this nice lacy fabric and then another fabric underneath. So it's definitely not going to be see-through for you. Um, and I just think that this is such a beautiful option. Um, obviously, it's super nice and flowy. And it does fit true to my pre-pregnancy size. Lots of room for my belly. I'm 31 weeks right now. So I've definitely got quite a belly at this point. Um, yeah. I really like it. This one was very affordable. This option is what I really thought I was going to wear for the photos, but I decided last minute against it. I love this fabric. I love the print. It comes in a bunch of different colors um, and a, dump, a bunch of different patterns. This is not a maternity dress, but it is bump friendly. So keep that in mind. Um, because it's not maternity, I think this is the reason at least. You can see the lining ends right here. It's pretty short and I think that's because obviously it's going over my bump. So I would say if you are pregnant and you wanted to wear this for an event, I would wear a different slip underneath so that you have a little bit more coverage because it definitely ends a little too short to be out and about because the bottom of it is sheer. You could easily do like a photo session or something like that. It wouldn't be a big deal. But if you are planning on wearing it for a shower or like someone else's wedding or something like that, I would be careful. It does have this leg slit, which I really like because a lot of flowy dresses like this, when you can't see the movement of them, you just end up feeling huge because you've got this big belly and you've got this flowy dress on and the sleeves are a kimono style sleeve, which I absolutely love, but it can give you the effect of looking bigger than you are. So I do really like the leg slit. 
Um, again, I'm 5'7", so it kind of hits like right at the ankle. I'm wearing those same heels. They are super, super comfortable. And then I will say this dress came with a different belt. I ended up just grabbing this woven belt because I liked it better than the belt that it came with. Um, I will show you that one in a second. But this is a V cross. So I actually think it'd be pretty easy to nurse in if you are a nursing mama. You can definitely wear this post pregnancy or if you're not pregnant and I think that it would be absolutely adorable. Um, it is a little bit low cut. Again, I have very large chest to begin with. So right now my chest is out of control. So it is a little bit more cleavage than I personally like to show. But um, as soon as my pregnancy chest goes away, I think that it would be completely fine. So even if you are a little bit larger chested, I think this would work for you. Um, but yeah, this is just absolutely beautiful. And they do have other colors that aren't a white base. So this would be a really pretty dress to wear to a wedding if you're a wedding guest. Um, but you could definitely wear this to your shower or something. And I just love the flowiness and the movement of it. This is the belt that it came with. So it's just a the same material and just a tie. I don't know why, but it kind of felt like I was like wrapping my belly up as a present or something with this on. I just didn't like the way that it looked as much. I liked the wider belt because I felt like it accentuated my waist a little bit more than this does. Um, but if I was not pregnant, I think that this would be really cute with it. Again, I am wearing a medium, which is my true pre-pregnancy size. Okay, I am really bummed right now because I wanted to show you guys this dress with my kimono, but my kimono is actually at my office, so I cannot show it to you. But I will insert a photo. I will go over there tomorrow before I post this video, take a photo, and insert it here so you can see what it would look like. But I love a bodycon dress with a kimono over it. I think it's such a cute look. So I've just got my nude heels on. This is actually the dress that I've been taking all of my bump progress photos in, the exact same dress. So these dresses really accentuate the bump. You can see it, it is there. Um, this is one of those things, a lot of the flowy dresses, when you do your photos, they want you to hold your belly on the top and on the bottom. You definitely don't have to do that with this dress because it is obviously very tight. Um, this is one of those dresses that I would have never, ever, ever worn before I was pregnant. But once you have this belly, it's like all bets are off. Um, this is not a maternity dress. It is just a regular dress and I am wearing my true pre-pregnancy medium. Um, it's getting a little tight. <laughs> I'm 31 weeks, so um, maybe size up depending on how big your belly is and how far along you are. But for now, it still fits me fine. So um, yeah, either your true size or one size up. And these just look so cute with a little layered kimono on top. This dress comes in so many colors. It is lined, so it has two layers of fabric. It's actually a pretty heavy fabric. It's really nice and soft. And I think I just said this, it comes in a bunch of colors. Anyway, you can wear it on the shoulder like I am right now. You could also wear it off the shoulder if you wanted to. So there's different styling options with it. And the fabric is just such good quality. This again, it does fit true to size. I'm in my pre-pregnancy medium and this is a maternity dress, but I think that you'd be able to wear it easily post maternity. And I just think that the silhouette of it is absolutely gorgeous. If you want something that's a little bit more plain uh, and simple, then I think that this would be such a great option. This would be so cute for a shower outfit or if you're shooting somewhere that has a lot of texture, it's kind of nice to have a dress that is a little bit more simplistic because it doesn't take away from your area. Um, I am wearing like three inch heels, those same nude heels, and it basically, it's like two inches off the ground in the front, but in the back it is a little bit longer and it does drag on the ground just slightly. So keep that in mind as far as sizing goes. I think I told you it's a medium. My pregnancy brain is out of control. Um, but yeah, this one is just a great option. It does come in a really pretty pink. If you wanted to do like this blue or the pink, if you're having a boy or a girl, there's a couple of neutrals and some really pretty seasonal colors as well. This is one of those that you get the nice um, line of your waist so that you can just accentuate the bottom of your belly. 
and I just think that it is so cute and really, really high quality. And this is one of my non-maternity dress options, and this is where it hits kind of right at the ankle. This one is not a maternity dress, and it's not stretchy, so I did end up sizing up to a large in it, and I'm glad that I did because I do have a little bit of room, but if my belly was any bigger, I wouldn't. So I would say that if you're not pregnant, it's true to size. If you are pregnant and you've got, you know, a bit of a belly, then I would size up so that you have room for the belly. But it's v-neck but not low cut. It does have this slip underneath and the slip goes right about to my knee. So it's not see-through at all. I love the sleeve details. It's that Swiss dot material. And I just think that it's the prettiest ivory color. And I love how flowy it is. It's got this little tear at the bottom. This is one of the ones that I almost wore for my maternity photos over the weekend, but I went with a different one. Uh, but yeah, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous option. I love that it hits at the ankle and you can see your shoes in it. You could wear cute sandals or heels. And this would just be a great summer, spring dress. This dress, I really, really, really wanted it to work for me, but it just does not. Um, so it does hit kind of just below the ankle with these heels on, but I could easily wear flats with it too. And it does have the lining. The lining comes up pretty high because of my belly. This is not a maternity dress. So I am wearing my true medium from pre-pregnancy. The reason I don't like it on me is because I do have such a large chest and my belly sits so high, like I'm carrying really high. And so this overlay just kind of like sits on my belly and I feel like it takes away any shape that I have. So if you are either not pregnant or if your belly is a little bit lower, I think this could be gorgeous on you. Or if you're just a little bit smaller chested, this would be really pretty. Um, Jenna, my assistant actually tried it on and it looks gorgeous on her. She's not pregnant. Um, so I do think that it would totally work for you if you are either not pregnant, carrying lower, or have a smaller chest, any of those things. Um, but it just has the most beautiful details. Um, the lace is gorgeous, and I love that it has the scalloped edge on the lace. Um, it is such high quality. This would be so pretty for like a rehearsal dinner, your bridal shower, your baby shower, maternity photos. Like This is like an event dress. I think it's super, super pretty, and I think that depending on your body type, you would find it really, really flattering. This is the dress I ended up wearing for our maternity photos, and this is a maternity dress. I'm wearing a medium in it. It hits kind of right at the ankle, and it's just the prettiest shade of white. It's obviously got some room for the bump, but I think that this will work post baby as well. I love the dot pattern on it. I think that it's gorgeous and the sleeve detail has just got this ruffle detail. It is off the shoulder. Um, you could maybe, it's a little bit uncomfortable to wear it on the shoulder, but if you were just doing some photos, maybe you would get away with it. Um, I personally like it better off the shoulder, but this is super comfortable. It would be, make a great baby shower dress. And again, I am large chested and I feel like I've got plenty of room in here and I've got plenty of room for the baby bump as well. So super comfortable. It's not see-through even though it's not lined. It's just really good quality and I feel like this is just like a classic dress. Again, this is something that you could wear to a bunch of different events. I wore these heels with it for our photos, but then for some of them I just went barefoot and I thought that looked really cute too. So you could easily go with heels or with sandals or barefoot so many different options. This is another bodycon option. I actually did get some photos in this. Again, I had a kimono on, which I wish I had here with me, but I wore these same heels. And I am wearing a nude bra and nude undies, so you can't see through it, but I will say if you were wearing a color, you would probably be able to see straight through it. Like you can kind of see the outline of my belly button. Um, but this is one of those really showing off the belly. It has the ruching on the sides, which makes it really flattering against your belly. And this is one of those ones, if you wanna show off your bump, this is such a great dress for that. It's super lightweight, so I think it'll be perfect all summer. The sleeves are about an inch, a little bit bigger than an inch thick. So you do have some coverage, it's not too low cut, and I could just live in this. It is so comfortable, it comes in a bunch of colors. I'm wearing my true medium, um, and I think it's so cute with a kimono on, but this is definitely one of those showing off the belly, um, dresses 
I actually think I might wear this dress for my shower with a kimono over it because I think it's so cute. So love this option and I just think dresses like this are perfect for showers or photo shoots or even if you are at work you could throw a blazer over it. I think that is just so flattering. You could also pair this with sneakers. That would look really cute. So the styling options are endless. You could tie a jean jacket around your waist or you could even put a sweater and tie it right under your chest and just have your belly showing. There's so many ways to style a dress like this. This is one of my favorite dresses. I already had it in my collection. It is not a maternity dress. It's just one of my favorite dresses and I considered wearing it. I will link these sparkly slides. Um, this would be such a pretty dress if you were doing like beachy photos or just summertime photos. You could also wear a jean jacket over this. This would be such a great shower dress. It is tiered and it's lined to just below the knee. If I can show you. There we go. Um, so it's not see-through at all. It comes in a bunch of different colors and the top is this smocked material and then these straps actually tie in the back so you can control how high or low it is which is nice because you kind of have some more control over the length and just over like how high the neckline is but this is not maternity. I'm wearing my true medium and I have so much room still. Like I can easily wear this through the end of my pregnancy and it's so unbelievably comfortable even if you're not doing photos or anything i would just grab this because it's so comfy and i think everyone needs a dress like this this is one of my favorite vacation dresses just throw on go watch the sunset at the beach but obviously it's nice to have some flowy dresses that still work when you are carrying a little babe Alrighty, guys those are all of the dress ideas that I have for maternity photo shoots or just in general just different events that you might have coming up so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I will link every dress below as well as the shoes that I wore my necklace that I'm wearing and this sweatshirt this is not maternity I did just size up in it and it is the coziest thing ever it's got thumb holes which I always appreciate so I will have everything linked below for you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.